what do you make of the testimony in Flavianum and the pass the passage in Josephus that speaks of Jesus and his crucifixion? I know you talk about this in the book. You yeah. got some people out there, as you know, that claim that the whole thing is an interpolation, but most scholars say it was partly modified by a Christian copyist. Let me put my own position is basically to go with the partly modified. But if I had to make a choice between holy interpolate, holy fictional, holy or fully Josephan, I would tend towards fully Josephan. Let me tell you why. This isn't mentioned <laughs> nearly enough, by the way. In the Middle Ages, there was a whole cottage industry of Latin translations of Josephus, and then French translations of that, because people began to realize we Christians have our Old Testament and our New Testament. Now, here we have a manuscript, and the order is always Jewish antiquities, Jewish war, even though they were written in the opposite, because they were kind of like parallel texts. Here we have a Jewish author telling us kind of the same stuff we have in our Old Testament, and we can parallel the Jewish war with what we have in the New Testament. See, it's like a great big proof sign that we're right from a Jewish author. Now, tampering with that and interpolating it to suit is not smart. It, it really isn't. What they were really doing was apologetically and polemically <laughs> putting out a manuscript of the Jewish war with pictures in there of Christ's crucifixion, Christ's resurrection, to show that, see, this is very polemical, they were being punished for what they did to Christ. So there's a whole apologetical, polemical usage of Josephus in the Middle Ages, which would be invalidated completely if everyone said, oh, yeah, yeah, you guys just made it up and you put in all your own stuff in there. So I'm not ready to argue if people want to say Josephus wouldn't have said this. It's a, it's a hopeless argument. But if I had to choose, did Josephus make the whole thing up? I would no problem say, yeah. Because Josephus is living in Rome in the 90s. They're probably fairly important messianic Christians there. Let me use that term to say maybe they're Jewish Christian. He's not looking for a fight. He's got enough fights on his hands. <laughs> it's, he's under Domitian. He's the Flavian uh, there is patrons. He's not looking for a fight with anyone. So I think he would probably be quite ready to say kind of what they say without necessarily saying, and I believe this. I don't think he'd have any problem saying he was the Christ, meaning he was the Christ according to them. So I, I don't see the problem nearly as much. Hello, viewers. Thanks for watching this video from the History Valley YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if any of you wish to further support this channel, please consider checking out this channel's Patreon page and becoming a patron, and or donate through PayPal or through Super Chat during a live stream. Thank you.